One more thing. Okay, one more thing. Accept. And then, and then I'll come <laughs> Okay, no, 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 to go. Accept. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come from Yeah, I'm going to go. All right, go on. The thing about the 92 Virgin girls, I don't like it. 92-ish? 92 Virgin. No, we have not 92 Mobile. If, uh, T-Mobile. What? There's no Virgin, T-Mobile. I'm joking. I'm joking. You didn't get it. There's Virgin and T-Mobile there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. We don't have 72 Virgin, by the way. There's no hadith. It's not, it's not true. 72 Virgin of the Martyr. Someone dies and you get 72 Virgin. Yeah, yeah. There's no hadith about that. Really? That's not. Yeah, it's not. And firstly. Where does that come from then? That's, comes yeah, from? I know this. You hear it from. Uh, what's his name? You hear it from. Uh, EDO. What's his name? EDO. What Tommy Robinson. Everyone talks about it. Sister, everyone said many things. That's not our. Remember, the criteria, even in the Quran, Allah mentioned, majority of people like to follow the desires. So, majority is not a criteria. So, so that's come from. What, just people talking? No, no, I'm not saying that. There is a weak narration or an authentic narration about it. Yes. So, and remember, even Allah, you know, in the Quran, what is for the woman in paradise, what the eyes never seen, and the heart never heard, uh, 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 fought of, and the ears never heard of. The scholars of Islam mentioned, how come in the Quran, Allah never mentioned in details what the woman is going to have in paradise? He said, because a woman naturally, from her nature to be shy, you understand? So to, to go in line with her nature, Allah never mentioned in details what is a reward for the woman. Rather, the woman in paradise will be more beautiful, the, uh, the woman, the Muslim woman, uh, it will be more beautiful than the woman of paradise, you understand? And the reward they will receive better than them, you understand? So Alhamdulillah. So this stuff, uh, people just say 72 virgin, uh, it's 72 to mobiles, man. It's, just, uh, it's a nonsense. But you know, if Allah wants to give, why we say to you, look sister? If Allah is the most just, like I said to you, you and I and all of us here, we have small knowledge, correct? Small wisdom. And we cannot encompass everything with our knowledge, correct? So is it logical for us to try to judge or dictate the one, dictate to the one who has a perfect knowledge, perfect wisdom, what to do? It's not rational. Because I'm, my intellect is limited. How I'm going to judge how I'm going to utilize my limited intellect to judge the one who has absolute wisdom, absolute knowledge. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So when Allah decreed something, sister, there is not any doubt it's good for us. But Allah is not, going, is not going to wait for you to ask you if you like it or not. You understand? That's why when Allah mentioned in the Quran, Allah said, if the truth, if the truth follow people's desires, the heavens and the earth will be corrupted. The scholars of Islam mentioned meaning that we lack quick things. Even though it's a bad for us, but we don't know it. But Allah knows that sometimes you dislike something. Allah mentioned the Quran. Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayru lakum. Perhaps you hate something which is good for you. And Allah mentioned also, wa asa an, asa an tuhibbu shay'an wa huwa sharru lakum. Perhaps you love something which is, bad for, which is bad for you. And Allah finished the verse with, Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and you do not know. So no doubt there's some legislation that some of us maybe are going to struggle to understand it, but there is a basic to understand everything. That the Creator is all-knowing, all-wise. When you say something, he's not going to ask me. Like, for example, someone came to me. He said, you know, I said, worship Allah. He said, but before God created me, he never asked me to create me. Look, this is a nonsensical argument. I said, wait, so you want God to ask you before he creates you. But in order to ask you, he has to create you. It's sophistry. You know, but if he, if he created you and you know he's your God, logic dictates you cannot submit to him. You're not going to ask him, God, you should do this, you should do that. I'm just, not on Allah. Many people don't understand who is Allah. And this question comes from the atheists who are originally from Christian background. They think God is a man or something. No. Allah is Al Aziz, the Almighty. Al Jabbar, the Compeller. Al Rahman, the most beneficent. Al Qawi, the most strongest. Al, uh, uh, Al Ghalib. The, oh, the, the one who overpower everything. Al-Qahar. And, and you know, when you understand Allah's name and attributes and you compare yourself to the creation of Allah, will humble you and you say, Oh Allah, forgive me for my shortcomings. That's what Islam teaches us humbleness. When you're praying and you finish the prayer, what do we say? Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. What does it mean? I seek Allah forgiveness. I seek Allah forgiveness. Meaning, regardless how much you worship Allah, or I worship Allah, or anyone else worship Allah, we will never fulfill Allah's right over us. Because just the eyes, the blessings of the eyes, just the blessings that we have, 
you are a worship. How many years have you been sleeping? That's, if you calculate our life, majority of times we're sleeping, studying, doing something which has nothing to do with the worship of Allah. That's why we enter into paradise with the mercy of Allah. Prophet Muhammad, he, they said to all messenger of Allah, even you, you enter paradise with the mercy of Allah. He said, even me. You see, we don't accept to Allah, say Allah enter us paradise because we feel like it. You understand? So, do you think yeah. our destiny is written? Allah mentioned that, yes. Yes. So everything that's going to happen is written. Everything. So Allah created everything. Allah knows everything. Allah has written everything in the preserved tablet. So then Allah, and Allah knows if we, are going to, if we are going to be following Him or not from before. He yeah, knows Allah, where we are going. Yeah, Allah knows, yes. Allah, yes. So surely wouldn't Allah want to change our path to make Him come to us rather than, like yeah. if it's already written yeah. before us, why wouldn't He want to like rewrite it and make it so that we follow Him? What do you mean? He's, gonna, he's not going to change the ways in the preserved tablet. I mean, do you know what is in the preserved tablet? You don't know what is written for you. That's it. So now you choose because Allah knows, okay? And Allah has a perfect knowledge, okay? That Allah knowing something doesn't not necessarily or doesn't not negate uh, uh, us going to paradise to hellfire. But we don't know. So Allah knows, but we don't know. So Allah put us in this life, test us, okay? So you have to choose. So now you cannot be at home. Like Allah knows how much money you're going to make, yes? Are you going to be at home and say, oh Allah, because you know how much money you're going to make, I'm going to make, so I'm going to be sitting down. You're going to say that, are you? You're going to go out, take the means, likewise. When you come to guidance, like what you're doing, sister, what you're doing is good. You're taking the steps into guidance. That's why Allah mentioned the Quran, seek my guidance, I will guide you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of your worship. That's why we are in need of worshiping Allah. No the other way around. You understand? We say, well, Allah, we are in need to live this life which is full of evil. To survive in this life is by worshipping Allah and following Allah's teaching. You know? So now imagine you're traveling to Birmingham. There's one way lead to Birmingham, one way lead to Cardiff. Cardiff is evil. There's a lot of people killing each other. In, Car in Birmingham, it's peaceful. You're going to say, oh Allah, you know, you're going to, no, you're going to choose the path where it is more safety and more peaceful. You understand? And whatever you're going to choose, Allah knows it. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's upon you to take a step now. Yeah. You want to become Muslim? <laughs> Not now. Nah, I have to do, I have to no do problem. it alone, I think. No problem. I want to finish the Quran first before I do that. I mean, to finish the Quran is something good, no doubt. But I would say to you that, are you, like I said to you, are you guaranteed to live tomorrow? No, but I, I want to do it from... Like, from a, not just wishing into it, because I think if I do it now, it's under pressure. Okay, but I'm not ready. Okay, what, what is, okay, I, I, no problem, I don't want to put pressure on you. But what is, do you have anything that is stopping you, or you just want your own time or something? I think I want to know completely about the subject. Like, I, I'm like, I'm on the edge right now, I hardly know anything. Like, I want to... I think you know more some Muslims, man. <laughs> to be honest, it's true. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always learn, like, even me as a Muslim, sorry. So, yeah. I'm a Muslim, I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning, you know, but I don't want to put pressure on you if you want to learn more. I mean, yeah. the reason I ask, a question, uh, ask that question, if you have any question, you can ask, I don't mind.